Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to learn how to write scalar functions in PostgreSQL? Let's do it. The source code for this video is available at my GitHub address. So we just created the table TV shows, we added four columns and we populated it. Let's now create a scalar function. Right click and then come down to where it says query tools. Notice that creates us a new window. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paste in this so I can copy and paste the column names to make sure they're spelled correctly. So let's write our first scalar function. So create or replace. And the name of this function will be when show premiere. So that's the name of our function. And then we're gonna returns a date. And then we say as uh, open dollar, close dollar, and then language P L P G S Q L. Okay, cool. Now, do we have any input parameters to this function? Yes, we do. So what we're gonna say is name of TV show and look, that's a varchar 60. So let's use the same data type and I'm gonna return a date and okay, cool. And now I'm gonna declare a local variable. So I'm gonna say declare and so see this guy right here? I wanna know when this happened. So what I'm gonna say is declare when did show premiere. And that is of type date. All right, cool. All right, so now we're gonna say begin. And for every begin, we have an end. And now let's just do our select statement. So we're selecting from TV show. And I just wanna return back this one column here. So we're gonna say select from TV shows. Let's give that an alias, TVS, and then we'll say tvs dot, what is the name of our column? Well, I wanna return this column. And what I have to do is I have to somehow get this value into this field. So what we say is into, and then take this and spell that correctly in there. And then we're gonna use a where clause and we're gonna use this name of TV show. So let's do that. So we're gonna say where tvs dot show name. We get that from up here equals the name of this variable. Now, when we're writing a scalar function, our goal is only to return one column, one row, limit one, okay? And now we're done with the select statement. We have the value in here. How do we get it out of this scalar function? Well, all we have to do is say return this value. So my colon there, and let's try to execute this, see if we have it. Now what I'd like to do is actually test that. So how do we say that? So we're gonna get the name of this, control C, and we're gonna say select, and we'll look at friend. Execute that. Notice we have our one row, one value. So that's what's considered a scalar function. And that is our first example. When we did a query on looking for friends, notice that we get 1994. You can see that. But what if I changed f to little f? What do we get? Notice we get back null. How can we fix this? Well, what we can say is where the upper, and let's make sure we remove spaces as well. So trim of that name equals that same thing for the input parameter. So we're gonna say the upper, the trim, and notice that we're gonna call this V2. Let's go ahead and re-execute that. Then let's copy that name down. And now let's look for little friends, see what happens. And notice that now works. That's example two. In our next example, let's actually spell friends wrong. So we're gonna say EI, I'm gonna search for that. And notice, it kind of like gives me a null, but let's make sure we test for that. So how can we do that? We can say if not found, then for every if we say end if. And then what we're gonna say is this value here equals null. Cool, and let's call that now v3 and run that v3, spell that wrong. And now we get null handle. In our next example, notice that we're gonna raise an exception. Notice percent is just placeholders. So the first placeholder, I'm gonna put TV shows. The second one is the name of our column, which will be show name. And the third one will be our input parameter, name of TV show. Now notice that when everything is good, life is good, but when I try to find something that's not in our database, we raise an exception. No data found in TV show table for our show name column equals, notice I spelled it wrong. So this is the message that we generated back to go fix our data. And here is our last example. Notice we're at version five. So the name of our input parameter, name of TV show, could be past null. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to do a test on line 17. If name of TV show is null, then I'm going to return null. It doesn't even execute any of this code. We get out right here. Let's actually compile this and then run that. Okay, good. Five with a null. And notice it doesn't blow up, but we get back null. Exactly what we expected. And there you have it, team. A five-minute video to show you how to write a PostgreSQL scalar function. If you have any questions about this video or a general comment to tell us about your experience, please leave them below. Hope to see you back here for my next video. Until then, take care.